Ford, first and foremost, what is your take on the president's suggestion with this fact attached that none of the people who committed these shootings were on no-fly lists? Well, I think that basically the no-fly list is a typical overtly PC Obama partisan solution that has nothing to do whatsoever with stopping radical Islam. He wants to backdoor the Second Amendment. And frankly, last night's speech, he has no idea what he's doing, and he has no idea how to tackle the problem of radical Islam, let alone saying the words radical Islam. Kelly Grace Gibson, what did you make? There were a lot of people, even the president's supporters, who said, why did he even make that speech last night? There was very little meat there, very little change. Sure, we're a pretty divided country right now in terms of gun, gun violence prevention and, and gun reform, and there has to be a place to start. We're a stagnant place right now. That The Second, the second Amendment is, hasn't been changed since it was ratified in 1791. Twenty-seven other changes to the Constitution have happened, including women's right to vote, the end of slavery, term limits for the president, that we need to start talking about the gun problem in this country. And we need to find a place where we can come together. He's looking for bipartisan solutions Ke to that. Kelly, but gun violence is at a 30-year low. Gun violence in the United States 30, is at a 30-year low. 30,000 people in this country die every year from gun violence. So I do Wait, take your, your point about evolution and the evolution of law. I want to ask you both, Ford, I'm coming to you first. A campaign statement from Donald Trump saying all Muslims should be barred from entering the United States until, and I am quoting the campaign statement, the terrorist problem is under control. Ford, what is your take? I think that that sounds like a highly misguided solution that's going to ring well, though, with Republican grassroots because Donald Trump understands something that President Obama doesn't, and that's the fear in this country with respect to radical Islamic terror. <clears throat> I hope that's not true. I hope so the country's not afraid say, of Kelly, religious diversity. Is, is the idea that, as Ford just said, Donald Trump at this moment, even if it's an extreme position, is showing leadership that many people feel the president is not? No, leadership is not, um, is not creating an entire enemy out of a peaceful class of religious people in this country, millions of people in this country that follow every law, and we're a country that has a religious freedom. We're the, we're the land of the free. And to, to say that there's an entire population of people that can cause this country harm is a ridiculous notion. And the fact that the front runner of the GOP is saying something so ludicrous Kelly, and diminishing Kelly, our values in this country is a major point. Let me say this. I am so glad Kelly, that you're both here. We'll Kelly, continue. the problem is, is that only 33% of Americans approve of how Obama's handling the ISIS situation. And this therefore, has nothing to do with that approval later. Later. This is not right. We have to leave it there. Ford O'Connell, Kelly Grace, thank you. Thank, thank you, you both. Yeah.